taking care of yourself and especially the mind-body connection is a lifelong practice. It's worth it taking that time and really committing to it because the results have completely changed my life. Hi, I'm Kate and I'm doing a Reiki and sound healing treatment today. When I am really stressed out, my body tends to get really bad inflammation and that has typically come out on my skin. So I got to a point where I just knew I needed to try something different and that's when I started first getting energy healing treatments. So today my goal with this Reiki session is really just part of my continued effort for emotional and stress management. My name is Queenie Hilfer. I am a Reiki master teacher, sound healer, and the founder of my own private healing practice called Reiki and Flow. So for anybody who's new to Reiki and doesn't know anything about what it is, it is a really beautiful, gentle, but very potent Japanese energy healing modality. So Reiki, as with sound, is vibrational medicine. Reiki originated in Japan. Mikao Yasui, often referred to as Yasui Sensei, he came from a lineage of samurai. So he was trained in martial arts. He was very interested in divination. He was very interested in in world religion. So one of the big influences of Reiki is actually Tendai Buddhism. Reiki, it's not a religion whatsoever, but it's very, very spiritual. Hi Kate. Hi. It's been a minute. So what brings you to Reiki today? So I wanted to come in and get a session today just because I haven't seen you in a while and I've been doing a lot of personal work and would just love your support. Well, let's do a chakra reading and we can take a look and kind of see your energy centers and what the flow is of each. And that'll okay. really help to kind of inform where we dig deeper into the treatment. Yeah, love that. So after the consultation, I smudge my client. I make sure I cleanse their energy because we're about to go into ceremony. I take out my crystal pendulum, I do a chakra scan. So I scan each of their energy centers and that's seven energy centers coming out of the chakra system from India. And that really gives us an opportunity of visual to kind of see how open, closed, how much energy is flowing in each of those chakras. Then after the chakra scan, we move over to the table. I have the client lay on the table, get nice and cozy. I place an eye mask over their eyes and lots of crystals. And then we get into the treatment. So just starting to drop in, you wanna take a big deep breath in, push that breath all the way down the length of the body, out the feet and out the toes. Go ahead and do that one more time. Big deep breath in through the crown, pushing it down the body and out the toes. So then I love to layer in some beautiful, beautiful sound healing. And whatever's to come next, just allowing yourself to be fully open, present in the moment. What Reiki's really good at is it helps us to move that through the divine technology of the body, as well as it helps kind of get us out of that busy beta brainwave state where all that ruminating, that mental chatter is going on and then it drops us down to a deeper meditative alpha theta brainwave state. And when we're there, we're able to access emotions, memories, beliefs, because this is all through the subconscious mind. It's gonna help move heavy emotions through the body. So we're talking stress, anxiety, trauma, grief, shock, depression, all of those things. That's energy. All these emotions are energy and they get stuck in the body when we don't allow ample time to process, to really acknowledge those emotions. Take a deep breath in and let it go. So a favorite for clients is the ocean drum, also known as a wave drum or ocean wave drum. They often feel they're under waves, they feel a lot of release. And then I love to also use my Koshi chimes. So they have really beautiful tunings and they sound like amazing, it's almost like a circular sound that happens with these Koshi chimes. And I really hold the intention of sending lots of healing to their inner child. So coming out of a Reiki treatment, a client can 
you know, feel a little bit groggy. So I guide them to bring their consciousness back into their body. I guide them to anchor in the healing, the transmission into the root chakra, into the earth star chakra. From there, I really kind of direct them to start calling it back into their body. So how was that for you? How do you feel? I feel really good, very relaxed and just calm. Yes, today's session really helped my mind-body connection as Reiki always does. It's just this continual maintenance that I'll always do. My advice to anyone considering trying Reiki, especially for your first time, is to go into it open-minded. Your experience is gonna to be totally unique. So trying to go in without expectations and really just being open to however the session goes. We do need to feel it to heal it. There's no other way. There's no getting around that. And then it's this beautiful life force energy and accepting that into your system. 